Four Vermont men cited this week accused of selling stolen precious metals. State police say the items are connected to a string of burglaries in Chittenden and Washington counties. Local 20 Spencer Conlon spoke with one of the men today who says police are working against his business. The system's not working. James Barrows owns Country Thrift Store and More in Barrie. He's been in business for about two years selling a wide variety of items, including jewelry. We photograph them, you know, we get all the information, and we hold the jewelry for 10 days. But state police say Barrows is not quite meeting what state law requires. The alleged record keeping errors were discovered during an investigation last summer. It looked into stolen items being sold by businesses in Chittenden and Washington counties. The laws are pretty specific on what's required by precious metal dealers. State law requires precious metal dealers to obtain specific information from sellers, including their identity, and a description of items sold and to allow time for law enforcement to identify potential stolen property. But it's a much bigger picture than that. We've got people committing crimes to support habits, specifically, especially in this case, drug habits, and more times than not, it's to support a drug habit in other cases when we see theft. Police say two other businesses also failed to meet the requirements. Green Mountain Coin and Jewelry in South Burlington and Green Mountain Coin and Estate Jewelry in Waterbury. They're harassing the business owners, and we are the people who are trying to do the footwork to help them. Farrows acknowledges the concern of supporting drug habits, but feels he and others are being criminalized. I've lost a lot of money here in my business, giving back a lot of stuff. I've always helped the law enforcement, but I have no respect for them now, the way they treat business owners. Spencer Conlon, Local 22 News, Barry. All four men will be in court next week.